What it do, Dream Team? It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Walter's World once again. Visit Denmark. What you should know before you visit Denmark. And before we jump into this, I need you to smash that subscribe button, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. If you guys have a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon to drop it in the comment section. Denmark! What we got? Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and we're in Copenhagen, Denmark, the capital of Denmark. Really hey. cool design city, great architecture, all kinds of fun stuff. Anyway, what we have for you today are some of the differences between Denmark and the U.S. So for travelers coming from the U.S. to Denmark, they know some of the differences so you're better prepared for when you come. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the language. Yes, in the U.S. we only speak English. Well, don't worry, here in Denmark everyone speaks English too. Hey. That's one of the things that's really great for a tourist coming to Denmark. You don't have to speak Danish because you look at the Danish words would be like, I, I, I don't even oh. know. I mean, what does a, a O with a line through it even say? Or when an A and an E have a baby and make like a like an <laughs> integrated word from a cartoon? I don't know. And the thing is, you don't have to worry about that. The Danes speak yeah. fantastic English. I mean, literally, if you talk to somebody and they have an accent when they speak English, they're most likely not Danish, okay? Because the Danes speak mm. really good English here. So you don't have a problem with that. Oh. Now, if you want to know some of the... I feel like, why are we, like, why is... Uh, I don't know if it's like North, North America or it's just the U.S. itself that only like we don't learn to speak multiple languages like it, it seems like a lot of other places in the world they can speak multiple languages but we we really only know English for the most part differences in the language you should know that the the y here makes a or sorry the j here makes a y sound so it's ya for the j that a with the e together that makes like an a ah sound and then the o with a line through it is like e okay so just so you know some of the differences so you can just sound out the words and they'll laugh at you but you know they'll be okay they'll just switch to english and you'll be like oh wow are you american like no i'm, I'm from copenhagen okay so the language thing is not a big issue but they do speak danish here but they'll speak english fine now the second thing I want to talk about is the money. Now when you come to Denmark, what you should know is here cash is not king. Credit okay. card is king. But actually it's credit card with a PIN number, the secret mm. number, that is king. You have to have a PIN number on your credit card because if they swipe it and it asks for a PIN number, you have to give it because they cannot accept it if you if it needs a pen okay they're very strict with that we've had people oh, that wow. said no we can't use your credit card you have a pen and the tourist said we don't have a pen number well sorry we can't accept it okay and oh, then we've wow. tried to pay with cash and the guy's like mm, we don't have any change <sighs> so just know <laughs> credit card cards are king and you have okay. to have a pen number with it that's the big difference okay. on the money in terms of getting money out if you want to get cash there's atms all over the country there's lots of banks no big deal and you can choose english or spanish or german or or you know okay a Danish if you like Swedish you can choose those at the ATMs it's not a problem so there's multiple languages there not a big deal now in terms of the actual money they have they okay I feel like here cards here in America you feel like card cash is still awesome cash is your cash it will be accepted and mostly anywhere but you do feel like card is key for the most part they have bills and notes like we do in the US however here um, the coins, I would say, are actually worth something. Whereas in the U.S., you can throw your coins out and no one cares. The coins here, when I mean, they have 20 crown coins, oh, the money here is called crowns, okay? okay. And the usual exchange rates between like six and a half and seven crowns to the dollar, okay? okay. And they have, the, the terms of the coins, they've got a 20 crown coin, a 10 crown coin, a five crown coin, a two crown coin, a one crown coin, and then there's like a 50 cent or a 50 euro piece uh, oh, that they wow. have out there that they use. Now, what you should know with the coins is yes, they are actually worth something. Like you keep those coins, I mean, it's worth, I mean, think a 20 crown coin is like $3. So they have a $3 coin. Now the bills they have out there start at 50. So the 50, oh. think about it, it's like seven or $8. That's their first bill. And they have 50s, 100, crown notes 200 crown notes 500 crown notes and a thousand crown notes Dang. but really what you need to know is make sure you have a pin number for your credit card i can't stress that enough because i've seen a lot okay. of tourists having some problems with that okay? okay but just know credit card is king and you pay with crowns here it's not the euro all right not the euro in denmark don't bring your euros here because they don't use them it's the crown okay <laughs> now since we're talking about money a lot of people get worried like mark can i take my money out at the atm or will someone rob me look mm. in terms of safety Denmark is probably one of the safest countries in the world. I mean, they it's like we're talking, they leave their babies in the stroller outside the store while they That's go crazy. inside safe. 
So you don't. That's legit, like insane to me. But that's because I'm from America. Like I was raised and I grew up in America, where like you can't do that. But it's not safe enough here to be able to do that. But it's it's insane that like these other countries are safe enough to where like you are able to leave your baby outside of the stroller, and like you don't have to worry about anything happening to your baby. That's that's like mind blowing. Some safety notes: lock your bike up still. Don't take pictures on Pusher Street. Careful with late night boozing and pay attention. You don't have to worry about people robbing you when you're here. Okay, this is a super safe country, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, in terms of the time you have here, in terms of timeliness, hey, things leave punctually. If you have a meeting mm -hmm. or a reservation, you're there at the time for that. This is not like. Portugal, we show up an hour later. No, if it's at seven, you're there a little bit before seven for that meeting or okay. for your reservation. Okay. Also, the public transportation runs on time here, so make sure you're not late for your bus or your train because it's not waiting for you. Mm. Also, if you're looking at the time, what time it is here, it's the same time as Germany. Okay, so it's Central European time when you are here. Now, in terms of eating, now they have their breakfast, lunch, dinner thing here, and breakfast is, you know, usually at the restaurant or the hotels usually go to about 10, 10 30. Lunch is mm. going from about, you know, 11 30 to 1, and then okay. dinners are like 5 to 8. Okay, well, you okay. need to know if you're coming from Italy or Spain or Portugal that like to have late dinners, like 10, 11 o'clock at night, it's going to be hard to find restaurants that are open past 10 during the week. On the weekends, you can find more, but just know that it's hard to get like a late night meal. In Copenhagen, mm. you can find some, but you know, if you're getting outside of Copenhagen, which you should, it is a little more difficult to find places that are open late night. Now, in terms of the service you get when you go to restaurants, I'll be honest with you, ser service in Denmark sucks. Oh, those pastries look so good. I'm sorry. I had, oh, they just looked mouth watering. Ah, uh, what's up with the service? Talk to me. Talk to me, Walter. Bad service, service you get when you go to restaurants. I'll be honest with you. Ser <clears throat> service in Denmark sucks. I call it Danish ambivalence. They just don't care. Okay, they got mm. they got a great life. They're the happiest country in the world. They got their friends. They love them. They don't care about you or your money, <laughs> and that kind of gets a little frustrating. So just know, service isn't so good here. Okay. Now, mm. what's cool is the service is not good here, but at least you don't have to tip. So Ooh. in Denmark, there's no tipping. I mean, you can leave some, and no one's going to say no to your money, but don't yeah. expect them to say thank you because they don't make small talk here. Yeah, the service sucks, and they don't need my money, then, and then I'm not going to give it. So just know, no <laughs> tipping on that bad service. <laughs> All right. Now, in terms of the things that Danes will like want you to eat when you're here, some are really good, some eh, not so good. I mean, it mm. depends on you. The things I recommend you have, it sounds silly, but have a Danish hot dog. I mean, usually it's going to be a red hot dog on a normal bun, and on it they'll put um, like crispy fried onions on top, and they'll put pickles on top, and then the national obsession of rumelade. It's like this yellow mayonnaise. It's not mayonnaise. It's like this sauce they put on top. It's kind of sweet. You're going to have it, believe me, okay? That's one thing you really should try. Another thing you have to have is have Danish pastries. You know, you go back home and you have Danishes, and they're always like the tastiest breakfast treats out there. The Danish bakeries here make fantastic pastries. I mean, literally, I'm depressed that I have to leave because I'll never have a cinnamon roll like my my canel griffel, my, my cinnamon snail I had the other day. I'm like depressed because now I'm going to be like 50 pounds lighter in my summer videos because I won't be eating the tasty foods anymore. A cinnamon roll is my absolute favorite dessert. Like, nothing beats a cinnamon roll. Like, that's the greatest dessert that I have ever eaten. Like, they're just so amazing. And it's all your fault, Denmark, for having such great pastries. Dang you. <laughs> No, and then there's other things you should try. One of the things is like smorbrod. It's like, well, I don't know if I'm saying it rightly. It's basically an open-faced sandwich on rye bread mm -hmm. with like shrimp cocktail on top or steak tartare on top. And the thing is, you have that, and then you have aquavit, a shot of like a, the local Danish schnapps. That's something mm -hmm. you really should have. But in general, the Danish food isn't that great, but the restaurants in Denmark do a really good job of cooking other international fare very well. So. Though it is super expensive here, when you go to the restaurants, you usually do eat very well. And if we look at the expensiveness of Denmark, is it expensive? Yes, it is. Even the U.S. Embassy says it's 30 to 40 percent more expensive than the U.S. And I feel it's even more than that because if you want to buy a pint of... A 30, uh, they said 30 percent more expensive than the U.S.? Denmark, is it expensive? Yes, it is. Even the U.S. Embassy says it's 30 to 40 percent more expensive than the U.S. And I feel it's even more than that because if you want to buy a pint of a beer here, it's about eight dollars to get a beer at the bar. Okay, you go to Portugal, it's a dollar. All right, so just know eight dollar beers 
grabbing a meal, it's about $25 for a typical plate. So just be, okay. be ready for a, a painful wallet experience when you do come here. So maybe make it a long weekend instead of a week. Okay, because it is expensive when you come here. Yeah, yeah. Now, other services you might need are the toilets. Now, the toilets here work like everywhere else. You can wipe your butt and throw it in the, in the toilet. You're fine there. They might yeah. have a push button or a pull thing that makes them flush. No big deal. You can figure that one out. Um, other things you might look at is if you're going to have your laptops or your cameras and you need to charge them, the plugs here are like the two circle plugs like you have in the rest of okay. Europe. No big deal there, whereas the U.S. is the two flat ones. Here's yeah. the two circle ones. You can get an easy converter anywhere in the U.S. at your best buys and stuff like that. The thing is, is you, your laptops and your tablets and your phones you should already have a box and they'll convert, do the converting. You just need a thing that switches it from this to this. Okay? okay. And then the last thing I want to talk about that might be important for tourists to know is public transportation. Now public transportation in Denmark is very efficient and it runs on time. So awesome there. Also what's really strange on the public transport is nobody talks. It's a very mm. silent, almost eerie quietness on there. So if you're traveling with your friends, talk softly when you're on there. Or listen to your music, softly. Because people don't really talk on public transport, you know. I mean, it's just really quiet on the public transport. Though it is a little pricey. I mean, like everything here, the public transport is pricey, but does run on time. Buses and trains will take you throughout the country, no problem. And also, they love their bikes here, so you can take the bike pass all throughout the country, and you'll have a great time. Anyway, those are some differences between Denmark and the U.S. that can help you know a little bit better before you come. If you want more, please check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and please subscribe at youtube.com slash waltersworld. Bye from Copenhagen, and now he can do his own little tour. <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal, man. I definitely want to visit, but, but she, he said 30 to 40 more expensive than the U.S. I can barely survive in the U.S. <laughs> but that's all we got. If you guys got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. It's your boy, d out.